Well, hello, my name is Veronica and we are with Chasing Sunshine. Today we are going to be reupholstering this itty bitty stool that is in our home studio, AKA the kitchen. So it is a bright, brilliant red, which is a very beautiful color, but as you can see, it doesn't really go with my color scheme in our kitchen. So we're just going to slap some fabric on it and call it good. If you're interested in that type of content, stick around. All right, without further ado, we're gonna jump right into it. So, the first thing that we need to do is basically just deconstruct this little guy here. All you're gonna need is a drill or a screwdriver, and it's only got four screws. So just back them out. Easy breezy beautiful cover girl. Now this has been bothering me for so long, this color. And I thought to myself, well, I can paint that with DIY clay based paint. It would stick to that um, vinyl fabric, no problem. But I bet we could just reupholster it as well. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just take it off there. <laughs> And it is glued on, and that's what took so long. Not a big deal, yo. Okay, as you guys can see, it's just a standard foam cushion with some staples, and we're going to do the same thing, but with fabric. So we have two options. We've got this brilliant kind of brown muted floral, or we've got this kind of beige background with some burgundy, and some army green colors within it. I do like them both, and I haven't quite decided which one we're gonna go with. So, let's just start to de deconstruct this a little. Now, you could just go over straight over the top of this if that's something that you would be interested in doing, but because it's so bulky, I just decided to go ahead and pull it off. We got this little stool at a yard sale for 10 bucks. Super excited. Um, you can purchase them at Harbor Freight though for not much money at all. They're pretty inexpensive. And all it is is like three layers of this foam, this inexpensive foam, and a piece of hardboard. That's it, that's all guys. So with that said, we're just gonna go ahead and get our fabric laid on. Always wanna cut your fabric just a little bit bigger than what you think you may need. So I'm just gonna actually cut right along this line and that'll just give us enough to do the whole project. Hey guys, if you wanted to hop on over to our website, it's chasingsunshinebyv.com. We have a bunch of product on there that you might be interested in. We've got DIY clay-based paint. We sell redesign with Prima products. We sell Would You Been products. We sell JRV products and Sweet Pickens milk paint at this moment. So, like I said, if you guys are interested in purchasing any of that stuff, hop on over to ChasingSunshineByV.com, and it's there for your picking. You want to put fabric side down on whatever surface you're working on, and we're just going to go in with the four corner method to start. My tool, I'm basically just using a standard staple gun. This first one, you don't have to pull it super taut, but I am going to go straight across from each other. And at this point, I'm not pulling it real tight, guys. I'm just pulling it tight enough so that it's taut on there, but not like super tight that it's going to be like pulling the fabric too much. Okay, okay that's good. And then you go over to this side. Come up. So to get your staples really dialed down into the board, you're going to want to like put some pressure on it. There you go. That one went in good. And as you can see, it's looking pretty good at this point. And then you just work your way around. Just pull. This is where you want to pull it a bit tighter. Definitely pull it a bit tighter. And keep in mind that you might want to like resurface this again in the near future. So with that said, <laughs> that might be um, 
something to think about as far as how many singles you put in. All right? Continue to pull up, not like super top, but taut enough so you don't get too much pleating around the, the edges there. You want to be as straight as you possibly can. And I am definitely no professional at upholstery. However, I figure if it don't look good, you pull it off and do it again. It ain't a huge deal, right? So even if you've never done something, you guys, I say give it a darn whirl. What do you have to lose? A little bit of fabric? A little bit of time? Not a big deal. Okay. And like for every once in a while, go ahead and pull it over to see how it looks. And make sure you're not pulling it too tight or you're pulling it tight enough. And so with this design, even if there are a little, a couple little creases, I think it doesn't matter because the design and the fabric hides it. So keep that in mind with when you're choosing your fabric. If you're a beginner, you want to try something that's kind of busy like this that doesn't have a lot of like lines because when you're upholstering with anything with lines or a pattern that goes in a straight line, you want to be much more um, precise with you're pleading and it is something that you have to like do to learn and so with that said practice is what I mean to say okay I'm feeling like that's pretty good you just want to get as close to that staple line as you can without compromising that staple another piece of backing like this little piece of fabric basically you can clean up your area by just cutting a circle right and then stapling this down too so that it's all one cohesive finishing touch but I really don't need to do that because I'm never going to be looking under my stool so I guess if you want to put a few more staples in, you can. You're welcome to. But I'm not going to. Okay, so turn your handy dandy stool back upside down and line it up with the screws. There we go. If it's hard for you to line it up, just get one going. Don't screw it down all the way because then you won't have any wiggle room to move this to line it up like that, right? Okay, there we go. I've been wanting to do this for some time. I mean, it literally took us 10 minutes-ish. And then you go back and tighten them all down. Easy breezy, chicken peasy. And just like that, you guys, we have a really upholstered stool. Now, wasn't that super simple? We went from this tacky fake pleather, this tacky pleather, to this beautiful stool. Isn't it super cool, guys? So with that said, I just want you all to remember that you just, you know, you just... If you don't know how to do something, don't be intimidated. Just give it a whirl and see what you can do. If I can do it, you can do it. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and that little itty bitty bell if you want to get notified when we have videos in the future. And as always, chase on sunshine, whatever that means for you. Bye, guys.